hello um welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today's video we are going to be doing a week long reading vlog of me reading sad books so i'm not sure how my mental health is going to handle it but i am ready to cry my eyes out I did some digging on TikTok and found some of the top sad books that I kept seeing pop up. So let's just see how it goes. So the first book that I'm going to be reading is Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins. I read the back and it sounds very depressing. Um, and I'm here for it. But I have my tabs ready and a pencil ready. So... Let's get to reading. So it's Lauren's chapter. It's three months left, so I'm guessing it goes back to the past. Um, yeah, so she starts off by writing a letter to her dad. So what I'm picking up is that Lauren writes to her dad that died eight years ago um, because it's just kind of like a sort of comfort of it feeling like he's still with her. And so she still writes to him. Reading update. <laughs> I'm 12 pages in. I can't. Like, do you guys see how red my eyes are? How red my nose is? I can't. This book, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Hello, so I'm actually recording on my laptop because my phone ran out of storage and yeah, so this quality, this audio is all from my laptop. So yeah, um, a little quick reading update. I'm halfway through Pack Up the Moon. I don't know if I love it or if it's just super sad because I am a very emotional listen. So yeah, I don't know if it's just because it's so sad that I'm enjoying it or that the storyline is actually good. I did find something that I did not like, which I don't want to say anything because it kind of ruins the whole point. But um, to catch you guys up, Lauren wrote in the most recent letter for Josh to go to his psychic. And she thinks it's like so funny because Joshua is like a very sciencey person he's all about like science and like facts because he is like a medical equipment engineer and so um she thinks it's so funny in the letter and so he's like oh my god like fine i'll do it so that's kind of where i'm at i also found out that the chapters that are lauren's point of view it keeps going back to when she first got diagnosed i think right now i just hit when she first got diagnosed but yeah the months keep going back further instead of going towards when she died if that makes sense i get back to reading
We just got to the part where she was diagnosed by her doctor and it seems like she's just she's very like in denial and Josh is just like quiet and like is in shock. So that's really sad. And she just found out that there's no cure for her disease. So Josh's chapters, they're always so, like, wholesome. And then he always has to end it off with something so sappy. Like, he said, Jamie wasn't his type, of course. His type was Lauren. He'd only ever been in love once. He might not ever be again. But he'd kiss a woman tonight, and it felt nice. He hadn't crumbled in grief. He hadn't yearned for more. More than anything, he was glad it was over. Lauren had been right. Get it out of the way. Keep moving forward. Did you know she was a conceptual sex worker? He asked her out loud. He bet she was laughing somewhere in the great beyond. He'd hoped so. Had the best laugh in the world. He talks about her. He's just so in love. Don't know how to like comprehend it because it's so it's like happy and then sad happy and then sad it just I just finished pack up the moon and I don't know I don't have no words no words I'm planning to try to find if he had been with me. Let's see if it's on Kindle Unlimited. So I found it. So I remember actually trying to read this book a long time ago and I thought it was really boring, but I, I wasn't a reader then, you know? So um, I'm gonna give it a try again. Download. I got my robe on. I'm ready to read. Put my headphones on too, because why not? I don't know if it's just me, but the book is not that interesting. I find it kind of hard to get into. What is it? It says I'm 24% in and I'm on chapter 20 and so far. It's not that it's boring, but it's kind of dragging. But yeah, let's hope it's not like this, the whole book. So a quick reading update. I finished If He Had Been With Me last night. Um, I didn't cry like how I was expecting, like, it to be because I would see TikToks of like people crying to that book and I think it was because I was already not really feeling the book that I just wanted to get it over with but I did love the ending though um I could not stop thinking about it when I was trying to fall asleep so that's how I know that the book wasn't as bad as I was like making it out to be because it actually it was very like sentimental it was more of like a character development book i think the next book i'm going to be reading is when we were by diana elliott graham because everybody is saying that that book got them crying so yeah that's the next book we're going to be reading i got my tabs my pencil let's just read i guess okay 
Let's start. So I didn't record much of me reading when we were. We kept forgetting to record and then I just ended up finishing the book. But I loved that book. It tugged at my heartstrings a lot. Definitely would recommend that book if you want some like heartfelt like book. If you want to feel something. And that is the end of my week long reading vlog of me just reading sad books for a whole week. I don't know how I did it because my emotions are still intact. I still think about all of the books. Um, but I definitely would recommend all of the books because they all are sad in like different ways, I would say. I would rate Pack Up the Moon a good four and a half out of five stars. And what was it? If he had been with me, oh, maybe like a three out of five. And then when we were a good four out of five stars, because like I said before, I'm super emotional. So I cried like the littlest things. And these books just did it for me. So I definitely would recommend you to give them a try. And until then, see you guys next time. Bye.